What's good everybody and welcome to First Look, the series where we see how some of the draft's top prospects have fared early on in their seasons. In this one, we've got Wisconsin sophomore star Jonathan aka Johnny Davis. Davis has been one of this year's biggest surprises. He was a solid contributor as a freshman, but he's taken his game to a whole new stratosphere becoming one of the best players in the country and a possibly legitimate top 5 prospect. Let's get into his game. With a prospect as well-rounded and effective as Davis, it's hard to not try to get super in-depth, but we gotta let things play out and of course save some things for the official scouting report. But starting with his athleticism. He's an extremely functional athlete. Now is he the most explosive? Not exactly, but that's not a slight. He's got an excellent combination of size, strength, and movement ability, and he uses it in a variety of ways on the court. Davis is also a very good shot creator and among one of the best in the entire class. It seems once he gets to his spot in the mid-range, it's nearly automatic and the stats don't lie there. He's shooting a wild 55% on middies for the year and he's a tremendous 6th in field goal percentage of those with at least 70 total jump shots off the dribble. And there's a ton of variance in where these attempts come from, whether it's attacking a closeout into a pull up, off a pin down, a step back, a post fade, or in the pick and roll. Davis has shown it at least a few times in each area. Now he hasn't been the most efficient in isolation situations, but we'll get to a bit of that later. Everywhere else he's been really, really good. Now there are some times you notice he's still a dude who was born in 2002, but most of the time he plays with his poise, confidence, and toughness well beyond his years. In what was his biggest breakout game against Purdue, he started one for four and missed his first three jumpers including a bad air ball, and it didn't phase him at all. He's got what it takes to keep pushing and have limited recollection of the previous attempt, which you love to see. It's all tied at 54 with seven and a half to play and hit that shot. If you're a big and you play for Wisconsin, you better shoot the three. Here's Davis at DC. Uh, anybody else where that ball's going? Davis. Wow. And a reset good shot big for Johnny Davis. Now he's not necessarily the type of guy who I think is going to be labeled as a point guard and probably won't have primary ball handling responsibilities, but he has shown himself to be a pretty good passer and definitely more effective than his 2.8 assists might suggest on paper. He's been precise and done a good job finding his teammates on drop offs and wraparounds, and he's just solid in general finding the open man off of the attention he attracts. And without going in depth in this area, I had to mention how good he is in the pick and roll both as a passer and as a scorer, and specifically, he's a screen rejection and setup master. Defensively, while Davis certainly has his down moments, some of which are fatigue related, he's got a lot of potential. He's someone who has routinely taken the task of guarding the best or one of the best players, and at 6'5 with his tools, he's able to defend a variety of skill sets and play styles. Possessions against Jaden Ivey or some of the ball denial work he did against Michael DeVoe or those times where he makes a ridiculous block or play in a passing lane lead me to believe he'll continue to be mostly positive here this season and build on that going into the next level. I mentioned his experience with USA Basketball. Here's a steal in anticipation on that pass. And a throw to And now Davis with the steal. This should be fun. Davis all the way. That's big time. He's got 13 to lead all scores. Now Ivy on the other end against the defense. With the rebound, that's Wheeler feeding Johnson from behind. Really come on the last four fight. Davis boots that. Now Williams took off. Now to some things I'm watching going forward. One of the more important areas Johnny Davis is going to need to get better at is finishing at the basket. It's been improving as of late and he does show some great signs of using his body and athleticism, but I think it's a worthy thing to focus on in the future, especially with the frequency he has gotten there. For Chris Vogue, now Davis into the lane. Oh, Wisconsin, St. Mary's has eight points in the paint, Wisconsin, zero. And what is related to some of the finishing issues comes some shot selection questions. 
There were times where he's gotten a bit of tunnel vision, gotten out of control, and thrown up some ill-advised off-balance and heavily contested attempts. But of course, some of it comes with just being the guy and the most talented scorer on the team. Some of this improvement will come with continuing to find which moves and spots he's at his best. And then while I think he projects pretty well as a three-point shooter, I think that could end up being a swing factor. I've liked the uptick in attempts recently, that's been a positive, but the one for seven game kind of hurt his splits down to 33% on the year. And like we alluded to earlier, he can still be a bit more consistent defensively. This is a bit of a nitpick because he's definitely not walking into the league with a role like he has at Wisconsin, and he's had the necessary great games, moments, and stretches on this end to make you confident he can be a lot better here. Though he's not on the highest end of lateral movers, his effort is consistently better than most, but just staying attached, limiting ball watching, and paying attention to detail on his closeout footwork should pay off. But again, when you're in a role like Johnny's, it gets tougher and tougher to be 100% your best on both ends, which is why the best moments weigh just a bit more. Johnny just had one of his most important games this season with that unbelievable performance against Jaden Ivey and Purdue, but there are plenty of other great matchups in the Big Ten. He's got some tough games against teams like Ohio State, Michigan State, and they have Purdue again at the beginning of March, so that's absolutely circled which, at that point he could be making a run to possibly separate himself from Ivey in the minds of many. And you guessed it, Johnny Davis was also a part of the USA U19 squad this summer, but he had a much different role than guys like Jaden Ivey and Chet Holmgren. He did make a worthy contribution for the gold medal winning squad and had to have gained a ton of confidence from the experience. Um, I mean, it was kind of surreal, you know, it's not every day you get an opportunity like that to, you know, travel the world and play for your country. So um, just the, you know, that feeling of having like, the gold medal around my neck was very amazing. At this point, I think Johnny Davis is a surefire top 10 pick, and he's got tremendous potential to be that next guy outside of the top four. And honestly, I wouldn't rule out him competing with Ivy for the number one guard spot. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and comment down below what you think of Johnny Davis' game. I'm Keandre, this is Hoop Intellect, and I'm out. When I'm coming past, it's a parade when I'm coming past. Hey, I can count a million one in cash. Uh, and still, I give all I have.